Hello, my name is Ossi Mantlahti and I would like to present you in this video how do we manage tags and uh, the, uh, the mass editing of these in Udo's list view. So let's share the screen and see how this is done. So essentially, this is a real uh, customer question and uh, uh, this is a, a good question so that uh, we would like to go through it. So the, uh, the question was that is there a possibility to show uh, tags in Udo's contact list view and is there a way uh, of mass editing these, uh, these tags? So the problem is that in Udo's list view, uh, which you can see is this uh, uh, selection here, you can see tags uh, uh, very nicely in, in most of the applications like project CRM, etc. But the problem, and if you don't see this, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can open this three little dots menu here and select, uh, select uh, to see the tags. The problem is that by default, uh, the tags menu is not visible in, uh, in Udo's uh, contacts. Instead of contacts, uh, when, you, uh, when you show the, uh, the tags, you will be seeing this kind of thing here, which is like uh, one record, uh, uh, no records, etc. And that's not very nice. So the question is that, is, uh, that without uh, implementing your own extension, is it possible to show these, uh, these, uh, the contents here as tags? And uh, is it also possible to have the mass editing capabilities here? And the answer for this is that yes, it is very much possible and it just re requires a little bit of uh, administrative trick. I will be showing you the, uh, the steps here. So the steps are essentially rather simple. First, you enable the developer mode. Second, you go to the list view. Third, you edit the list view and you add two configuration options here, which are you have to edit the multi-edit and you must uh, put uh, the category ID field here and you must uh, show uh, it using the widget many to many tags. Still with me? Let's see how it is done in practice. So here we have uh, now our uh, uh, demo database and let's first start by uh, enabling the developer mode. We go to settings and here we uh, enable to activate the developer mode here. And we can see that we are now developer because this, there is this little uh, spider uh, icon here. So let's go back to the contacts. Now we go to contacts and we go to list view. And now we have to open this uh, Spider-Man menu and we have to edit the list view. And now let's see, now we have to edit and let me just copy paste the text here. So we have to add multi-edit equals one here. And then we can see the category ID is already here. So we have to say that yes, it has, uh, I can put actually, actually uh, string equals And I have to show the widget. So here, let me copy paste this. And now we can see what happens. So I have saved this and uh, let me refresh the view. And taram, now we are seeing the tags, which is showing all the tags like I, I, I really wanted it to be. So the multi-edit also now works. So for example, let's say that I want to edit these uh, three contacts and I want to add here a tag. I can just click here and now I can pick, it, uh, pick the tag that I want to update for all these. So now I update the prospects tag for all these. And let's say that I made a mistake. I only wanted to add it for these two. Now I can go here and I can just delete this tag. And Udo is asking me, am I certain? Yes, I am certain. I can delete it from here. 
And the last question is, how did I know that this uh, was category ID? Well, it's here. As we have the developer mode, you can you have been seeing that there is this pop up of uh, pop up uh, uh, sometimes like like this, and it's here. We can see that the tax field is showing that uh, object is rest partner, and this rest partner is actually the uh, the uh, contact object in Odoo. And here we can see that the field is category ID. So that way I know that it is category ID that I have to add here. And the nice thing is that it works very well also in these sub, uh, sub tags. Like, for example, I want to add the payment terms. Uh, then I, I see that, in, uh, that the technical name is property underscore supplier payment underscore term underscore ID, which I can add here. I'm not certain if it, uh, if it shows you shortened name or, what, uh, or whatever, but that way at least you can get this to the list view without using even Odo, uh, Odo Studio. So that's the trick how to, how to do it. And now uh, I wish you uh, I wish you all a good day and uh, happy with doing.